Hello, everyone, and welcome to Art Friends. Oh, we are friends who like art. <laughs> what? <laughs> I couldn't resist. I managed to get through the intro fine when it was just me and Cohen, I think. Wait, did Cohen do the intro that day? Cohen did the intro that day. Okay, well, anyways, that should include you in, that Cohen isn't here. No, he isn't. We threw him off. The roof. He's smelly. Into the shower. Meow. Wait, what? You cut out. All I heard was meow. <laughs> yes, that's literally what I said. Don't you have an allergy against cats? I do have a cat allergy, actually. It's not that bad, but it's still, I don't like it. Yeah, I know. Your doctor told me. Oh, yeah. When he gave you all my medical records. Yeah, I told him that I was her, your mom, Woman Munson. Did you just did you just make an old joke about yourself? Apparently. I honestly, I I could probably pass as like your older brother. You're younger than me. Exactly. That's what's funny about no. it. No, I'm the funny one. <laughs> if I grew out my beard, I might be able to. Be funny? <laughs> <laughs> no, Pass is your older brother. I think you already do, honestly. Like, you don't even have a beard. Perhaps. I mean, people always assume that I'm like 16, and on you they're like 57. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I smile too much, and I already have the smile wrinkles, and I'm only 17. Muffy just asked me if I wants to if I want to marry her. Well, that's a that's a yes. Yeah. That's a yes from me, boys. Can I get in on this action? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're my brother. You're not supposed to marry me. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot we established that. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, man. Get a life. <laughs> Get a wife, eh? I already have that. What do you have? Crippling depression. <laughs> can, can can we just not record right now? I'm... Do do you do you need a hug? Do you need that sad Christmas cookie? I would like the sad Christmas cookie you made. It's very funny. So you want to eat a sad boy, huh? Is that what you think, huh? Do you want to eat sad children? <laughs> no. <laughs> they already no. have a bad day, you know? <laughs> Is that how you... Oh, Polya made two Christmas... Oh, Polya made a bunch of Christmas cookies. And one of them was a star, and the other one was the Star of David. And the Star of David looked so smug, and the normal star was so sad. And I don't think she intended there to be some kind of dynamic, but it's just really funny to me to think the Star of David was like, Oh, only five points, huh? Oh, so now you're assuming that I just made that up and didn't even want that to be a, a dynamic, huh? Huh? Is that how you see was me? It, was, it, was it an intended dynamic or was it not? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've been recording for five minutes and haven't gotten onto the topic. That's because Cohen isn't here. Yeah, fair. He's always the one that was like, guys, guys, let's get onto the thing. No, that's you. Is it me? No, that's me. Honk. Somebody outside didn't like you saying that. It really didn't. They're like, that's wrong, and you know it. <laughs> well, accurate. It is. It was very wrong. But, yeah, let's get on to the actual topic. Oh, Polia, Cohen's not here. That is accurate. And... We were trying to think of things that were like, what is something that Cohen wouldn't want to talk about? Or can't talk or wouldn't about. wouldn't want to do, which is, or can't talk about, which is very difficult because he likes talking about a lot of things and can talk about a lot of things. He's an intelligent boy. You probably would even be able to talk about this topic, but Coda, what even is this topic? Uh -huh, we've we found a little bit of a loophole that he can't talk about. So today... We're going to be talking about art school stuff. Opali and I are both going to college 
level university art school whatnot you know we are both out of high school high five for not being a nerd oh that was so loud it's still like ringing in my ears (laughs) sorry no mine yours was just weak oh (laughs) spitting in your face (laughs) please don't you know i have to i will I, oh, I was about to make a disgusting joke. I was gonna be like, I'll counter it like a those Dragon Ball Z power beams, how they hit each other and just stalemate in the middle. Don't spit in my I'll face. Spit and counter it. Luxy, what are you doing? Well, I guess I have no egg head on my lap. But yeah, so Apolly and I, Cohen's still in high school, the dweeb. Yeah, really. But Apolly and I are going to college, art college, and whatnot. So because we're not losers. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So <laughs> I don't know how to feel about you saying it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to keep normal. <laughs> yes. So we were like, well, Cohen could talk about art school. He's never even been. I guarantee you, he'd have good input on it. So. Let's find a loophole. Let's talk about our experiences with art school. Ha! Huh. Take that, Cohen. Haha, <laughs> Cohen. Sucks to suck, huh? <laughs> Why are we so mean as soon as he isn't here? We're only mean to him because he can't fight back. That's the only person you can fight against, huh? Hmm? You're not able to defend yourself if someone can fight back, huh? I'm not able to defend myself if they're conscien- C- conscious. Conscious? <laughs> if they're conscient. Conscious. <laughs> If they're conscient. <laughs> conscient. I. Uh, yes, the, that's what they call the royal conch shell. The conscient. Magic conch shell, you idiots. <laughs> yeah, Koda's not the most intelligent, that's why I'm the brain of the group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to laugh at that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Squidward. Yeah, we need Cohen here. <laughs> That's just a mess. <laughs> there are a couple types of arts like different places you can go get a degree in art so you can go to a university a college where you get a college degree with a major in art or you can go to an actual art school where you get an art degree uh which one are you doing opalia i am currently in college where my uh main focus is art Okay, so you're doing other classes, like math and everything? Yeah, all that jazz. All that jazz. So am I. So uh, I'm going to a normal college, and I'm just getting a major in art. Yeah, you're just normal. You're not even above average. <laughs> you, Ophelia. Did you go to, like, a art school before? Because I know you've been to two different places. Yes, the one that I was at before was definitely a bigger focus on art, because we had, like, I think three different or four different classes one was uh, English one was art one was German and one was politics did I say English you did say English um and we had like four classes of um, art two classes of politics two classes of English two classes of German oh I forgot maths yeah it's whatever I don't like math <laughs> so personally i don't know much about like if i were to go to cal arts or something like the big art schools i don't know much about them because they were never even an option for me i am a broke boy i needed to go to this cheap school next to me but basically so I, i know quite a bit about what nothing what? Nothing. What did you say to me? I'll be editing this episode, Opalia. I said sucks to suck. <laughs> <laughs> also, there's a slight chance that you can hear my cat purring. I'm very sorry. She wants to cuddle on my belly. That's fine. It's worth it for the cat. 
Did you hear that, Bibby? So I'm not too... I'm not too familiar with what they do and stuff over at Kell Arts or like the big art schools, but I do have a lot of experiences of what it's like to be an art major in college, at least for my first year. Same here. Lovely. So that being said, do you like it? Like, are you enjoying it? I am enjoying it. Okay. Like... Well, I enjoy the last one more than I do this one. Uh Uh-huh. How come? This one is just... Meh. Like, they wanted us to uh, paint with watercolors, but they didn't even have the right uh, paper for it. They didn't even have the right materials for it. And then the paper was warped because it wasn't... Could you please not clean yourself? That sounds very disgusting. (laughs) Uh... But then they uh, were complaining to us because, uh, well, the paper was warped, obviously. You know, using paper that isn't uh, supposed to be used with watercolors warps. And we got all about uh, a worse grade because they gave us uh, the wrong materials. And that makes me mad. Because we weren't even supposed to use our own materials. So is that just the teacher? Or is that the school that you're mad at? The school in general has, like... So many promises, but can't even hold up to them. You really okay. have to clean yourself right next to the microphone, Cat. Overall, does that break your experience? Do you not like it? Uh, it's alright. I don't like it as much. But eh, it's okay. Okay. Well, are you learning things? Mm, no. <laughs> not really. <laughs> they taught us color theory wrong they teach us um everything wrong i feel like like everything i am pretty sure how it works with art they are just like well yes but actually no what do you mean they taught it wrong just factually incorrect yeah factually incorrect like i was uh asking my um colleagues at the internship where i'm at and uh-huh. they were laughing about what my teacher was saying, and they were like, dude, she's teaching you all the wrong stuff. And I was like, I know. <laughs> Oof. What yeah. Did, what did she say? For example, um, they're like body colors, I guess you could call them. Like skin tones? No, no, body, like a body, a figure, um, a thing. Like, let's say your table has a body oh. color. Okay. A pen uh, has a body yeah, color. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Like, base color. Yeah, and then there are light colors. Light colors are pretty much just on screen. And uh, they told me that the color circle with red, blue, and yellow is body colors, and cyan, magenta, and yellow are uh, the other one, um, light colors. And my co-worker was laughing his ass off because of that, because he was like, dude, that's not right. <laughs> not right at all. Huh. Huh. I don't I don't quite know what the difference between body color and light color is, so I can't. Light color is on screens. Like if it's on a screen, that's a light color. Like it's so working saying, with light. They're saying magenta can't exist in reality. Because it's uh when you mix it with blue uh, I mean cyan. It makes a light color, and I was like, but cyan should, uh, cyan and magenta should be the, like, primary colors, because, like, you can mix red with uh, magenta and yellow. Yeah, but I can't quite wrap my head around what you're talking about, so I will not confirm nor deny if it is true or false. But that's not the important part. But, like, you can mix red with uh, magenta and yellow. Try it. It's very fun. So, yeah, that's just what I'm saying. Like, not really working. And uh, she wanted us pretty much to, uh, you know, do the color circle thingy majiggy. I forgot what it's called. Color wheel? Yeah, the color wheel. She wanted us to paint that and gave us red, blue, and yellow. And I was like, red is way too orange. It will only make, like, brown at most. 
Well, she was I like, actually nah, painted a color cute. wheel with red, blue, and yellow. Did your violet look like violet, or was it more like a brown? It was primary red, and I ended up getting... Hold on, I'll send what I have. Because mine was a yucky dark brown. Did you use different brands of paint? No, they were all the same. Alright, well, I don't know. Maybe it has to do with the pigment of the paint, but... Sorry, I was away from the mic, I was finding that color wheel. But it might have to do with the pigment of the paint, but red, blue, and yellow I think can make all the colors. But it's I not a pretty so. one. No. At least not pretty Maybe ones. it is not the aesthetic, but this is the color wheel I made for school with red, blue, and yellow. That's literally the brownish uh, purple that I was talking about. That's disgusting. No offense. Oh, yeah, that, you don't, you meant that deep purple? Okay. Yeah, that's extremely disgusting. And she wanted us to have a pretty purple. Ah, uh, I think that does have to do with the pigment of the paint. Our art teacher actually said that. She goes, uh, you're gonna use red, blue, and yellow, but if you, you're not gonna get a nice purple, so if you want the purple experience, you have to buy the purple yourself. Yeah, our teacher was like, yeah, we're going to use magenta in, uh, immediately because I hate the color wheel when you use red, blue, and yellow. So, uh, Forget about that. If you ever have someone who tells you that the color wheel is with blue, my, uh, blue, red, and yellow, just punch them. That's literally what my teacher said. <laughs> He's very passionate about the color wheel. <laughs> Lovely. I I actually really enjoy my art teachers. Really? Yeah. I've told I you about like one her. of them. I don't like her. She screamed at me twice. Oh. Yes, I love him. I want him. I need him. Don't say I want him. As a teacher. Okay. <laughs> You're making it a weird dude. <laughs> Not me. But yeah, yes, I, I I love I love my art teachers. One of them was like eh, like normal, good, but not great, and the other one was awesome. The other one makes me envious. I want him. He is he's a phenomenal artist. As a teacher. As well. <laughs> I have seen that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but basically, I had to take so in your first year, and this was my first semester, they basically make you take a ton of normal classes. Like you gotta go take drawing. You gotta take design, you gotta take uh, art history, and then th the further you go, you get to hone your focus more and more to where eventually I'll be doing printmaking or, you know, very specific things. Oh yeah, you want to do printmaking. I do, I would love to do printmaking. You told Cohen and Speed about it, but never me. <laughs> I thought I told you about it. No. How did you know then? Because I was stalking you. Wait. What? No. What? Where <laughs> did I... The episodes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. But... No, it's not. You forgot about me. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even tell Cohen about it, I don't think. Ah, uh, I don't care, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Change my mind. No, I Just actually honestly don't care. I, I don't need that's, to know that. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good line. Wait a second, I just realized, I don't care. <laughs> that's such a joke sentence. <laughs> it is. But I love my drawing instructor. He... So, like I said, that's I have such to take... A mood. I, this this time round, I had to take drawing and design as my art courses, and I I also took a history, a math, and an English. My uh drawing teacher, I have some wonderful stories about him. Which there brings was... us to our next point. Ah, uh, yeah, we we could tell some stories about our life at university. Apollia, I'm curious, because you already had a bit of a rant about your teacher, but do you have any specific stories about them or any classmates or anything? 
Mm, I have one about my former teacher. Uh, uh-huh. About his rant about uh, magenta, cyan, and yellow. Because <laughs> I was talking to him like, oh, okay, can you like explain to me why red, blue, and yellow aren't like the same, working the same? And he like walked up to me and was like, can I touch your shoulders? I was like, sure. Then he put his hands on my shoulders, looked me in the eyes, and was like, because they suck. Now continuing with the uh, classes. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend! I know. I didn't regret that he was able to touch my shoulders. <laughs> oh, what, what a, a mad lad. <laughs> the fact that uh, afterwards he explained to me why, but <laughs> the fact that he did that and then just casually continued with the class until the end of it. <laughs> um, I remember I had a classmate uh, who told me that she has pet bees. Like, she's a beekeeper as a hobby. Oh, that's so cool. And she was like, yeah, I also make my own honey. And I was like, oh, that's so dope. Can I, uh, can I like, one day have your honey? And then we did Secret Santa uh, over Christmas. And she uh-huh. picked me, like, she got me uh, through um, random pulling the name thingy, Majigi, uh-huh. whatever. And um, she uh, she gave me honey, and, and oh. it was the best honey I ever had. And I, I ugh, I'm, I'm so sad that I already used it up. <laughs> you need to go buy some more from her. Yes, let me just quickly drive the four hours there. <laughs> Sadly, I mean, she lives a long time away. The honey is worth on... it, though. I was about to say, if it's that good a honey. Might be worth it. Eight hours drive to get there and back just for a thing of honey? Worth it. Honestly, if you ever had a self-made honey, you never want any bought honey. But yeah, do you have any nuances from your... Nuances? Nuances? Nuances. 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 Wah. Wah. Do you have any nuances? <laughs> nuances. Oh, now it sounds like I'm trying to do a really bad New York accent. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, ha- I have quite a few stories. Do you Ooh, mean uh, you have a quite a few uh, nuances? Nuances. Nuance. I do. Let's see. <laughs> Tell me about your nuances. <laughs> Uh, Why is that so funny to me? Oh, man. So, okay, no one finds this as funny as I do, and I've actually told Opalia this one before, but this is what really made me be like, okay, I'm going to like this drawing instructor. So, the first day of class, we all entered the drawing room, and we were all sitting down on the floor uh, against the wall, and since it was a small room, we were kind of wrapped around in a giant circle. And... This drawing instructor walks in, and he uh, is about to read us the syllabus for the class. And then he points out somebody, and he, like, squints at him. His vision isn't the best, so he kind of, like, you know, squinted his eyes to look at him. And he points at him, and he goes, I like that backpack. Is it new? And they go, oh, uh, yes, sir, it's new. And he goes, yeah, it looks new. And then he points to the person next to him. He goes, that's also a nice backpack. Is that one new? And they go, uh, no, it's not new. And he goes, oh, okay, it looked new. And then he does it to the person next to them. And the person next to them. And he goes around about 20 people asking them if their backpacks are new. The last person, this is the person, the very last person. So it's the person next to the person he started with has this <laughs> raggedy, broken down backpack. And he looks at him, he goes, that backpack's not new. That dude probably was like, well, well, yes, but, like, man. Yeah, he intentionally picked the person next to them, went in a full circle, and ended on them just for that punchline. What a mad lad. Oh my god, I love him. 
Oh, that that was the first day of class too, and I was like, I'm gonna enjoy this instructor. I can tell. <laughs> he has a very coda humor. It is. Uh, I would always show up early to class, like 30 minutes early, because my dad had to drive me there, and he had to get somewhere, so he always had to get me 30 minutes early. But whoever but else was you early drive was you always... Yourself? Say it again? You can drive on your own, though. I can drive on my own, but, I mean, it was easier, because my dad was able to drop me off and pick me up almost at the right times. Nice. Anyways, continue. So, like I was saying... I have to get there 30 minutes early every time. And there are these girls that would show up usually like 15 minutes early. So I I would talk to this little small group of girls and we all started just chilling before class and whatever. But all of them, I realized, didn't really sleep. <laughs> they They hardly ever slept and they talked about how little they slept very regularly. So, eventually, it turned into, a, like, a competition where, like, they would get there and one girl would be like, how many hours did you get last night? And she'd be like, three. And the other girl would say, oh, lucky, I only got one. But the girl who said, oh, lucky, knew what she was doing. She didn't think that other girl was lucky. She was like, loser, you got two extra hours. <laughs> So, and it, it got it got really crazy because these girls would show up so tired and just sleep deprived that one of them just was like, she showed up 30 minutes early and I walk in there and she's just on the floor asleep. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, that drawing I class just... just... <laughs> Says. I would just look at her like, huh, pathetic. I only have three minutes of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I I talked to her about it once and I said, "Why do you stay up all night?" And she goes, "I have to do homework." I'm like, "What what do you have going on in the day?" And she's like, "I can't do it in the day." "Why not?" "Because I just can't. My brain doesn't let me." I was like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> okay, I can relate to that though. Yeah, but like at the at the point to where you're falling asleep on the floor, you might just want to go ahead and do it in the day. Yeah, that's what a normie would say. <laughs> I overall my semester was very strange because of COVID stuff. Oh yeah, we also have that going on. Actually, last year I didn't have COVID with my school, and now this year I do, and it's very different. What change? Um. Pretty much last year, we were allowed to hang up our pictures in the hallway or, like, we're just randomly putting sh uh, stuff <laughs> 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 on the walls in, like, the hallway and no one really cared about it. They were just like, yeah, that's the art class people. <laughs> what losers. <laughs> and that was okay. Everyone had a jolly good time. Uh-huh. And what changed? Uh... I mean, it could also just be the school that I'm at, but we're not allowed to go outside of our classes. We're not allowed to hang up pictures. We're not allowed to show pictures to other classes until uh, the other class is uh, finished with their part of that whole uh, topic and stuff like that. It's very weird. Huh. I also don't like the teachers. <laughs> yeah. Do you have like, to do anything over Zoom? Uh, we are using Microsoft Teams. Okay. But what, yeah, what we had to work like? with that. Pretty like, much like a worse version of Discord. Yeah. Do you have to do, like, entire classes on Zoom? Because I had entire classes on the internet. Uh, in German, I think we did an entire class on uh, Teams. And in English, we had the entire, like, class on it. To be all honest, I kind of abused my power and I was just playing Animal Crossing in the background. <laughs> I did the same thing with math. Oh, the math was kind of easy, and it was, like, all on the internet for me to go look back on my own leisure. So, mm -hmm. basically, as she was explaining it, I just drew or did whatever, and then I would be like, okay, time to do the homework. I'd figure it out while I was doing the homework, and then I got an A. <laughs>
Yeah, I had a lot of Zoom stuff. I The drawing class got yes. really complicated because four people had to be on Zoom at all times, but everyone else was in person, so you had to constantly check to see if you were on Zoom that day or not. I mean, after the um, holidays, we actually also have to do, like, half of the classes in Zoom, the other classes, like, the other half is in the classroom. That's all Yeah. Weird. What do you think about it? Is it... Do you think it's difficult to teach drawing over Zoom? I... Honestly, in art class, we were, like, talking with the teacher for, like, 15 minutes, and then she was like, yeah, just do whatever. And huh. then it was okay. Uh, and then no one did anything, obviously. Because everyone was just abusing that power. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't, honestly, if you're allowed to, like, do whatever. If you're allowed to do anything, you're gonna do nothing. Exactly. Honestly, my professor had a hard time teaching drawing over Zoom just because he couldn't look over people's shoulder and correct them as they were going. Poor man. Yeah. Honestly, um, also, about my English teacher, she's like... Uh, yes, I like American English, but I hate British English, so if you use British English in your tests, I'm going to give you worse grades. And I was <laughs> like, excuse me? <laughs> what are you saying, mate? I, be I better not see a you in that mom. <laughs> um, if I'm seeing UK instead of USA, I am going to give you a bad grade. <laughs> That's funny. Why was that funny to you? <laughs> but why? That right there, that's funny. When I hear that, I laugh. Yes. I remember you telling a story about your teacher on the very first day, or like him not remembering your name, something like that. Oh, okay. So my teacher, my drawing teacher, has like three learning disabilities. He has like very bad dyslexia. He's super dyslexic, and, like, I forget the other two, but they basically enhance his dyslexicness. Uh, so he had a very, very hard time remembering names. He And because we had masks on, he had a hard time remembering faces. Sometimes he just couldn't write, so if he posts something for us to do on the internet, like, hey, uh, here's an email. He sends us an email being like, meet here today. He'll send an email that two minutes after being like, oops, sorry, wrong place and time. And then an email after that being like, sorry for all the typos. Here's a <laughs> not typo version. And then it, it, I just feel bad for him because he has a very hard time reading and writing sometimes. But Poor dude. because he had such a hard time with my name, sometimes he would call me Coda and sometimes he would call me Cody. But then, so what really made him remember my name was even Coda was that my dad works at the school so i was like yeah my dad is mr munson and he was like oh chris munson <laughs> he's like chris munson okay i know chris and he's like okay now i'll remember you so he called me munson uh so he referred to me as either coda cody munson or if it was a really bad day and his dyslexic dyslexia was really flaring up he would call me chris <laughs> Hi, Chris. And everyone knew that whenever he said Chris, he was referring to me, so no <laughs> one corrected him on it. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, he he's an awesome, awesome artist. He's a phenomenal artist. He's also missing a toe, which is cool. I had a teacher that had an extra toe. Maybe he, he can give it, it to him. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to give it back. <laughs> it's like stealing the nose. <laughs> I got your toe. Haha, ha, very for what? <laughs> Wait, give her Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm in Germany. Haha. Ha. <laughs> Where did you go? I don't know. I'm too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Already across the sea. <laughs> Actually, um, his doctor told him that he is better at swimming uh, with that extra toe because that makes him faster. And he was like, that was very false. <laughs> uh, that teacher is, is actually... False? 
Uh, the thing is, he can't swim. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so hmm. he can't be faster at swimming if he can't swim. <laughs> oh man, I Wait, wish I wish I, that I know was, very few uh, adults who cannot swim. The thing is, he is able to swim, like his body can float, but he is too confused about what to do with his arms while swimming that he is not able to keep his head up. <laughs> and the level of confusion am- confusion amuses me. Yes. Yeah, I I think we all have some fun fun school stories and stuff, but I'm curious because the reason we're going to school is to learn and to get a degree, really. Like the degree is the main uh, uh, attraction uh for a lot of people. So I'm curious. I'm the main attraction how... for everyone. Say it. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, everyone at your school goes for you. I know that. But at mine, they go for the degree. (laughs) So I'm curious. Well, do you think... uh, How necessary do you think a degree is in getting a job in, like, any any art-related workspace? It could be a studio job. It could be freelance work. How necessary do you think a degree is? I think a degree is, depending on where you want to go, important. Like, some... Studios want you to have a degree in that and that, and then you need that. But I would say a degree is only important if you want to go to a job that needs a degree. I don't think you need it at all to do freelance work, because that's only the art. It's not like a client's going to come up to you and be like, eh, show me your degree. (laughs) But then you could be like, "Uh uh-huh, here's my degree. What are you going to do now? And then they're like, she's so strong. She (laughs) is too strong. Jesus Christ. Her power is overwhelming me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think a degree is really completely unnecessary to do freelance work. And I'm speaking from no experience, keep that in mind. So maybe it is, and maybe I'm wrong. But from the outside looking in, it looks like you don't need a, any shape of, any form of degree to do uh, freelance stuff. Yes. Studio job, Apalia. I actually do have a bit of insight into this because I've talked to some people who work in like the animation industry. But I'm curious, do you think you need a degree to get studio jobs? It depends on the studio. Okay, that's a fair answer. How how desired on average? Not like, much, what are your experiences? Because I know you work at a print shop, so, like, what are your experiences with people asking for degrees and stuff? It's not that important. Like, the desire is pretty low. You can also get a job without a degree. Yeah. Like, they even let art students in uh, to, like, learn there. Also, if anyone ever tells you that just because you don't have a degree, you're not allowed to work at, I don't know, Pixar or any of the big groups. Gina, any of the bigger they are studios? Wrong. Wrong. False. Kick them in the butt. Kick I allowed them in it. The butt right now. We our friends condones violence. We also condone garlic addiction. We do. Both of these things are good. Get addicted and I to stand garlic. By that. And then kick it. <laughs> because it's bad. <laughs> but yeah so I hated that why did you say it like that <laughs> <laughs> basically I, I did so I attended Lightbox Expo over the interwebs this year and I ended up afterwards talking to a couple of the studio workers that I met there And they all had very... I asked them a lot of questions about getting a studio job. And they all had very similar answers. And it was... Your resume, the things on your resume, and your portfolio speak much, much louder than any degree. Yeah, that's what I think too. I should also start making my portfolio now that you say it. (laughs) Yeah, I should too. But they were like... If you have a degree in art, but your portfolio sucks, you're not going to get hired. If you have a great portfolio and no degree, you might get hired. There's a hired chance. Hey. 
Also, something they mentioned that was fun was if you have a great portfolio and a degree in political science, like something that has nothing to do with art, you also have a decent chance. In fact, some of them said, I would be more likely to hire that person because I'm like, wow, this person's really good at drawing and they know political science. This is a really interesting person. So they'd be more likely to hire that than someone who's good at drawing and has a degree in art. Honestly, the only reason why I'm doing my degree in art is because I uh, like the easier maths that we do there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my degree in art because I want to learn art. Uh, however, they said it's not necessary. If you really don't want to do a degree in art and you want to do a degree in something else, and then you change and you're like, I want to get a studio job in animation, that's not going to haunt you. Or at least it won't really. Well, I found I found that interesting. I never thought about that. Like, oh, somebody with a completely different degree, it might even be more appealing to a studio. Did I actually ever tell you? Uh, we have a like university after college here, and in university, I actually want to make my degree in something that I want to be good at later, because that's the most motivating thing to have someone telling you what you have to learn. To get better in what you're doing. But in the end, I want to be a freelancer. Oh, okay. Mm. Very cool. So you can also yeah. use uh, your college degree, or like going to college to like learn or um, better your skills. Because they're exactly. going to make you do stuff that you might have not done on your own. Well, my grandma today is really bad. <laughs> exactly. That's like the, that's kind of the point of college is to get better. Although a lot of people forget the aspect of, oh, I'm actually supposed to be learning. And they're like, get through. <laughs> Honestly, with my current college, that's literally me. But that's mostly just on the college. Yeah. But I, when it comes to math, I'm like, get through it. I don't need to actually remember this. And even English, I still like English. But I'm not, I haven't learned enough in English. But like I said, I didn't like my English teacher. <laughs> so I was just trying to get through that class. Uh, but my art classes, I'm really just trying to be like, okay. And I actually talked to my drawing professor at the beginning of the semester. I was like, I asked him, I was like, hey, how do I, like, wh what do you expect from me? Like, what are you grading off of? Well, how do I get a good grade? And he was like, don't worry about the grade. Just do your best and try to actually learn from the class and you're going to get a good grade. I was like, okay. And I did that, and I ended up getting a good grade, and I ended up learning more than I would have if I just worried about getting through the class. Why are you going to college? What do you, like, what do you want from it? Get good. <laughs> I think, I think the similar answer for me. I also just don't know what I want to do right now. So I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm a student, so <laughs> I don't have to get an actual job yet. I feel the same. Like I feel like I don't know enough about what to do with life to actually like go through life. So I rather stay in school for longer to finally get an idea. And yeah, even though many adults tell you, oh, you should already know what you want to do at age three and you should already working at age four. <laughs> don't even listen to them. Like, for example, Many, many big um, stars uh, nowadays started at a very a late age. And you still love them. Like, I know they're still like... Bob started painting when he was like 40. Yeah, exactly. The same goes to... Uh... What was his name? Stanley. Stanley, thank you. Same goes to Stanley. Like, he started at age 42. Like, not 42, yeah. but like 40 slash... Also. Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I I think that's really cool because right now my my ambitions in art have actually changed since I started going to school. I've been exposed to more, and I've been like, oh, this is cool as well. I didn't even know this world existed. I could be doing this. Yeah, exactly. So, like print printmaking, right? Yeah. So I like changed my major from animation focus to printmaking focus. Which is always good that uh, art school gives you the opportunity to learn about different stuff that you might like. And you're not getting forced into like staying in that one major if you like another major more. Exactly. So I think it's Dude, been really good to help me just... Dude, what animal is dying in the background? 
<laughs> what? There is an animal dying in your background. You cannot convince me otherwise. It is a lawnmower. Somebody is mowing the lawn. I told you to not do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bad Coda, you're not getting desserts today. No. Yeah, you hurt me. I did, and that's the bad part. <laughs> if I didn't hear you, I would actually be able to get desserts, because then I wouldn't know about <laughs> it. But now I have to be honest. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I should have just acted like I didn't hear you. Just like, you hurt me, young man. What? Don't even do that no, with I didn't. me. What? <laughs> you hurt me, young man. What? I didn't hear you. I said no desserts. What? Oh, sorry, gotta go. <laughs> then I'm telling your dad, and he's like, Man Munson. <laughs> That's his name, not Chris. Who is that Chris dude? His name is Man Munson. No. Indeed. He has dated woman Munson. <laughs> because they found it funny that they were man and woman Munson. Yes. Very true. Accurate. Correct. If this was a true or false test, one of the I... ones where you had to fill out the bubbles, you know, it, it's not the one where you circle the true or false, it's the one where you fill out the bubbles. And you don't have to fill them in super neatly because the teacher's grading it by hand. They're not using, like, one of those scantrons. So... I would probably messily fill in the bubble, either true or false. But if this was one of those tests, and this was one of the questions in which was asked on the test, I would most likely fill out the bubble true. That had such a long way. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it. Are you proud of I yourself? Did. Very. Good job. You're still uh, not getting any but... desserts. After all that? <laughs> uh, I love the despair in my children's voices. We have had two very strange family dynamics this episode. I don't like either. I rather like the one where we just Cohen's dad and mom. <laughs> so you like the one where we're married? Yes, marry me. Thank you. Yes, I, I offered to join in with your marriage earlier, but you rejected me. Yeah, because I don't like uh I don't like polyamorous mari marriages for myself. Thank you very much. Fair. So make your choice. No. <laughs> Either the digital sheep girl or me. <laughs> Yeah, so we were talking about how we wanted to go to school to get good, but do you think you need school to get good? No. Uh, actually, what I wanted to say is that we actually have an episode where we talk about practice, and uh, Koda is going to link this in the comment section, because he's probably going to forget about it in the description part. <laughs> <laughs> we both know it's true. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you think that going to school can help you get good, uh, like, much faster than if you didn't go to school? Or would you say that it's really not that necessary at all? I would say it's not that necessary, but it's good if you want to have an extra step in between, like, actual work and stuff and, like, school. Because it yeah. gives you, like, a little break before you have to go into the work world where everyone is just grumpy and drinks coffee. Yes, that's literally how it goes. Yeah. I mean, that was a lot of the students this year, too, though. <laughs> Honestly, I believe you with that. Still, but... losers. I had three minutes of sleep this night. <laughs> Nerds getting a full hour. <laughs> What absolute buffoons. <laughs> I I think that school 
isn't necessary because you can literally find better, like, you can find better information from books, from the internet. Like, that all the, there are masters who are just like, hey, I wrote everything down that I know here. It's in a nice, easy to read book form. You can take it. Like, James Gurney has a book on coloring that is like the colorist Bible, and it's incredible. I haven't read all of it, but I've found all the information I can. There are people on YouTube like Marco Bucci or Mark Crilly uh, that also teach you a lot of good stuff. I actually started yeah. uh, listening to the whole painting class from Marco Bucci. Marco Bucci's phenomenal. I still need to actually apply those things, but like when I started the painting of my mom, I didn't have that yet, so that's not really showing my progress. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Borodante. <sorry. laughs> Just making fun of your laughter. Oh yeah, Borodante <laughs> was also one of my uh, big um, inspirations a while back. Same as Chada. Chada. Yeah, but Borodante has such an incredible knowledge of how light works, like the science behind it. I also it and stuff. especially love his paintings. Uh. Yes. And cynics and uh, Ahmed Al Dori, one of the my favorite painters, just in general, puts out YouTube videos explaining his stuff. Yeah, so, exactly. Like, there are like a lot of people that would actually teach you. Obviously, it's not one-on-one -on -one training where they can uh, dissect what you actually are missing the most, but it's still helping you at least with the basic stuff. And if you uh, if you need help with like dissecting where you need to learn more ask a friend and if you don't have friends come onto the art friends art server <laughs> <laughs> if you ask for an art tip cone will most likely have an artist who's good at it i'm existing no i can actually also give tips just on different things than painting like i know yeah. a lot but i don't know much about painting yeah well. but anyways I also, think... Koda knows stuff. I'm sorry, I forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I don't exist. I think uh, it's it's really possible to get more valuable information from the internet and from books than and from friends from classrooms. But like mm. at the same time, the classrooms force you to get out of your comfort zone and force you to get good at something that you probably wouldn't have studied otherwise. So there's a exactly. there's a really good value to that as well. Also, in my case, going to work or in my classroom actually motivates me to draw because I most likely have nothing else to do, so I can concentrate better. Also, at <laughs> it home, you, you have to like... the point of motivation. <laughs> Depends on what class I <laughs> have. <laughs> the thing is, my English teacher is like very bad at English too. Like she is doing that fake uh, British accent to sound more less, more or less. Ah, yes. Uh, to sound less German, and ugh, I hate it when people do that. Like, uh, I, I get that you don't want to sound German, but like, pff, shut up. <laughs> 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 like, I remember in the beginning I didn't want to talk over VC at all because I hated my German accent, I still do. But just by continuing to, like, talk normally in English, you get rid of it and sound anything but German. Unless you talk to other Germans, then they know that you're German. Like, I have talked to many people that I don't know, and they were like, are you Russian? Or are you Polish? Or are you from <laughs> Bulgaria? And I had the blast of my life. I'm also a bit desensitized to it, so that might be why, but, like, you and Cohen, to me, sound so normal, and then I, like, talk to somebody who actually has a heavy German accent, and I'm like, wait, this isn't what Opalia sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I think you and Cohen have talked so much English on Discord that your accents have faded away a little bit. Which is not a bad thing. A, ba a bad thing. Not <laughs> <all>. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think just however you talk is good. You know, just talk natural. Don't fake a British accent. Yeah, really. That's just cringy, man. You're being cringy right now, woman. Uh, do you have anything else you'd like to touch on? Your head. That's the end of the episode, bye. <laughs> no, <I'm not>. <laughs> <laughs>
do you have anything else you'd like to talk about? No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes, I do. Go for it. Your head. Alright, what about it? It's ahead of everything I have ever seen. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna actually in the episode here. So <laughs> that one was much worse. I hated that more. I hate I myself how you more did than it. anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you made me even more upset. Well then, see you guys. Bye bye, tschüss. Uh, oh, Oops! Wait. <laughs> I accidentally took German. <laughs> Maybe you aren't as distant from your accent as we thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go watch the Spotify, listen to the YouTube, and oh, follow yeah, you the can... Instagram and Discord. Bye. Bye. Also, uh, uh, Koda Smelly. Hold on one second. And then your parent came in. Oh, your daughter. Uh, daughter, you have a child? <laughs> oh, you can't hear this until you edit, huh? Did you, did you say, or my daughter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will be much funnier if you're uh, editing this. Did... Believe me, it, it's, it's going to be hella funny. Did you do a funny, Opalia? Yes, I did a funny. You did comedy. I'm so proud. Dude, I'm the funny one. You're the coda. <laughs> <laughs>